Hey folks, as mentioned in my previous video, this time I'm going to present you the game in which I had 7 kills and close to 600,000 profit with Bison Dum Dums. So this is the follow up of that. I've been using Gyro, but before I jump into the details and explaining what happened in the game, I want to announce the next Shady event, which is going to be about DP12 and M110. We're going to have new skins in the game, the Flame Skin Collection family. And I'm going to ask you to hop to my Discord and send me clips where you play with the shotgun DP12 or M110. I leave it up to you on how you play it. Um, map doesn't matter, game mode doesn't matter. Just send me some clips because out of those clips you send me, I'm going to select at least three of them. And this time I'm going to have three winners, okay? Not just one winner, not one person who wins a bundle. We're going to have three winners. And I want you to do that in the upcoming days because I need to produce an official video showcasing the skins and I want to add those clips you send me into the video I submit to the official team just to kind of showcase, you know, the Shady Squad. I'm going to do a community post about that and you can also read about all the details on my Discord as well. And we just got to the point in this game where the action starts. At the beginning, nothing was really happening. I was searching for enemies until now because this is the point where I can see footsteps and shots coming from above. I was under the impression that there might be players uh, near the medical tent um, because that's always like a hot area so I started going upwards. I wasn't like sneaking as you can see. I, I, I definitely made some noise but those guys on the left hand side they didn't realize that I'm there. One thing to highlight, you can see that both of them were knocked, so they didn't die, which means they still have teammates. Because of that, I was throwing a nade to the right to make sure that I'm not getting attacked. Basically, I'm running with two magazines, so I was at the point where I was starting to run out of ammunition. I wanted to quickly check the stuff. I saw that it's T5, so instantly like dressing up into T5. That's the downside of playing with an armored rig. You need to put that into your bag and it's a bit more complicated. But I picked up the weapons. Uh, it was an SK-12K and the Bison. And the SK-12 or S-12K, it actually tricked me. Because while I was looting, I didn't actually check you know, what that gun is. I just picked it up quickly. I saw that it's an interesting one because it has multiple scopes. I, I just found out that it's a troll build after checking it out in detail. But here, what you see now, I was, <laughs> I was surprised that this is not an automatic gun. I wanted to shoot that guy and I was like, oh my god, what, why, why isn't this gun shooting? And then I realized that it's a shotgun. So I had to fall back just to reload because no ammunition in the Bison, no ammunition in the S12K. As you could see, I was facing bots and the best decision I could make is to jump down and try to reset. So that's what I did. I, I think this is a nice corner to kind of heal up because in case there's nobody coming from the right hand side, you are in a pretty safe spot. And um, healing, healing, healing takes time. Reloading your stuff takes time. So I had to be absolutely sure that I'm, I'm on a safe place. But after healing up and after resetting, I started moving back upwards because there were some additional players. And also I wanted to check all of the additional loot I left behind. But there was a guy out of nowhere. I, I don't know where this guy came from, but was, he was trying to sneak. He wasn't part of that team. So I did that kill, and as you can see, still like multiple footsteps, multiple footsteps um, running around the healing tent. And um, I was spending a decent amount of time here. They also knew that I'm here because, you know, they were opening the door. I made some noise. So it was like the, you know, cat and mouse game. Every time they threw a nade, I was running back. But I had to be cautious because I was... I was on a team, I had teammates, but the teammates didn't support me. So in this area, I was pretty much alone. Another nade came in, which damaged me. And since I knew that I'm facing two players, again, I had to make a decision that, that saved my life because instead of trying to fight them, I started falling back 
and uh, healing up, fully reset to make sure that I have you know s- stuff to fight with. So I was back at my position, waiting for the guy to like peek or attack or whatever. I didn't want to push. I didn't want to push because I knew that I would, you know, it would be a suicide thing. I knew that there are at least two players, so I didn't push. Instead, I waited for him to push, which was a good decision because, again, one more kill. But uh, again, almost running out of ammunition. At this at this uh, uh, point, I didn't have any rig because, you know, I've been putting my armored rig into my backpack and I just picked up the T5. At this point, basically what I wanted to achieve is to have a chest rig, to have armor, to have a weapon to fight with, to have uh, magazines. So what I did, I put down my backpack, just, you know, just to put it on the safe zone uh, in the hope that nobody's going to find it. And I was like waiting for the additional players to come. And again, three footsteps. And I saw two players here. I actually got damaged. And this was again a decision which was really, I would say, hard to make. I had to leave everything behind. Because at this point, I was afraid that if I keep fighting, I would die. But because of the fact that I dropped my backpack, I didn't even have any additional additional magazines. I couldn't even reload my gun. So the best thing I could do is I ran back to, the, to my team. There was some fight happening, as you can see. And I picked up meds. I picked up weapons. So basically something that is going to support me like securing my stuff. I spent a decent amount of time healing, tetrising, and I, I, I found a nice RPK. I'm not sure who was the owner of that. But I equipped uh, a 3x scope onto that, which you're going to see it helped me somewhat in the game. So I was instead uh, going from the same I mean, going back from the same uh, to the same location, I was thinking that you know I'm gonna I'm gonna try from the other way around, but I didn't expect again a team to be here. This was a player kill, and then there's one more guy over there. I think I'm not sure why I didn't do the headshot here, but um, you know, this is actually a great spot. I I killed that guy. You're gonna see in a second. There you go. Come on, die. Yeah, so I did that kill, two additional kills. Again, thank you for the owner of the RPK. And one more footstep. So I was like, oh my God, this is like becoming or turning into like an endless battle. How how should I be going back to my, you know, to secure my loot, to get my backpack? Uh, so it was, it was pretty crazy. Everything just like all over the place. All of the teams were coming to that direction. Instead pushing him from the front, I was um, deciding to go to the alternate pass and then attack from behind. And at this point, I was actually slowing down because I lost track of that person. I didn't know where that person is or the player is. Um, so I was playing it slowly. I was checking the area. I was checking the corners. I was checking also the office. Um, and, and I was just you know trying to understand where the threat is going to come from. And at this point, this was the point where I knew, I knew players must be here. I opened the door and I was surprised that I don't see anybody. And then I saw footsteps from downstairs. And here I was very, very lucky, guys. You're going to see why. So downstairs, there were bots. But look at that. There's also sound rate coming from, you know, from that floor. And here was kind of the last player. I'm sure he was the uh, last player. Who, uh, who I saw you know, when I was on the elevator corridor. And fortunately, he didn't have enough time to escape with my backpack. He basically loaded everything um, I found, and he even gave me a bit of extra loot. So here's my original backpack. He almost escaped. So all I had to do is to get out of the map, and uh, I wanted to actually return that RPK. So. If you are the owner of that RPK, then I'm, I'm, I'm very sorry that I didn't return it because that gun actually saved my life. But look at that. It was just so tempting. So much loot being there. MP5, uh, the RPK, and then 
I was running over to the other, um, I, was, I was opening the elevator and then also checking this keel and look at that. He was having, what is that? T, I don't know what that is, you know, another 60K weapon and another scope. So this is the story guys. And it all started with a Bison, um, very cheap loadout. So approximately 30K loadout, the, the um, armor rig. T3 helmet, but this is good proof that um, Bison and Dum Dums actually work. And obviously, I experimented with other guns, like using Dum Dum. I had great success with the G19C uh, pistol. Maybe I'm gonna do a short. Uh, but then I also tried playing TV station with non Dum Dums. I started doing something I didn't really do before. So next video or the video um, after that is going to be most likely a full video because I was testing full 2x zoom, T5 helmet, T5 armor, and I felt like that, oh my God, I have control over the map. Um, and I wanna present that to you. It's a different play style, but definitely worth trying that as well if you are not shy to invest a bit more thank you for your attention should look subscribe don't forget to join the event and uh, see you next time bye